If you caught my short recently, I got 445 on this MacBook Air and speedometer. <laughs> How did I do that? Well, let me show you a couple of things and then uh, we'll proceed to the regular scheduled programming of testing our new machines. Here is Chrome and I've opened up Browser Bench Speedometer. Let's run it and see what we get. Now, this is a test I've done several times before on this channel. Pretty popular test and it's also very popular with reviewers who are reviewing the new MacBooks, Mac Studios, Mac Minis. They all point to speedometer results. However, there's a couple of gotchas here that we all must be aware of, and I want to raise that awareness. So I got 328. 328, not a bad score for a couple year old machine. Actually, this is a one year old machine. Uh, this is the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch. I'll do the M2 in a moment. Uh, I'm waiting for the shipment. Should be right in this video, I hope, I hope. But do you remember what we got in Safari? Here's Safari, just to give you a refresher. By the way, if you missed any of these videos, they're on my channel and you can just go back and watch them. This one gives us 372, even better. So what's going on here? Why are we getting such different results? This is something to keep an eye out for. When somebody tells you they ran speedometer, you have to ask, what browser did you use? And also, what version of speedometer? That's right. So recently, there is a big upgrade to the speedometer benchmark, speedometer 2.1. They found out that they set timeout in the nesting level that they were using is causing some throttling and they switched it out. It was adding a few milliseconds. So speedometer 2.1 improves accuracy. Now they're also working on speedometer three. That's not out yet, but it should be sometime probably this year. And if you want to follow along, if you're the uh, curious developer kind, you can go to webkit slash speedometer and you can follow along what's going on here. Speedometer 3 is an active development. 2.1 is the latest you can run right now. Speaking of 2.1, well, we just ran in Chrome Speedometer 2, and I'm gonna open a new tab here, and I'm gonna run 2.1. So I'm just gonna change the URL to 2.1 and start the test. Chrome got 328, remember that. Oh, what happened here? Now, in speedometer 2.1, we suddenly get 373 in Chrome. And by the way, this is repeatable. I've done it a few times. It's around the same numbers, depending on what version you're using. So in order to report the correct numbers and compare them to previous devices, you really have to go back and test the previous devices with the latest version or with the same version of speedometer, whatever that happens to be. Now that brings a little problem into existence because we don't all have machines going back in time. I don't have my Intel MacBook Pro anymore. I sold that. So how do I test that with speedometer 2.1? I can't really do that anymore. So should I run speedometer 2.0 going forward and save a copy of that? Well, that's kind of impractical too. And it's also not taking into account the best updates to speedometer. There is a little bit of a conundrum there to be solved. Now I'm not done here. There is still another thing I wanna show you. Also, I wanna run the speedometer 2.1 in Safari. Let's see what we get there. Here we got 384, even better score, but at least it's much closer to the Chrome value that we got. Yet, there's one more thing. I'm channeling Tim Cook here. One more thing, or Steve Jobs, I guess. Let me blow your minds one more time. Now, remember that uh, WebKit speedometer repo? Well. If you clone this locally, it's just an HTML file and you kick up the instance of index.html using live server, for example. Theoretically, this should not give me any different results because all the JavaScript is downloaded locally, but yet it does. 395, and this is on a year old machine. These are the numbers that we were getting when we were testing the M2 MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros, very close to these numbers. And now I'm getting it at an older machine. You can start to see how this can present a problem. Uh, let's do the same test on Safari, 404. We got a range from 372 to 384 to 404, depending on what version and where you're running speedometer. Oh, um, I think my package is here. I'm gonna, gonna go grab it. One sec. All right. Uh, got a couple of boxes here. We'll save this little one for later. This is what I'm looking for. This is the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the Apple M2 Pro chip. I have uh, the M2 Max on the way, but this is the Pro. Let's put you right here. 
I don't care what anybody says, the 16 inch is the way to go. I'm in. Now, let's go to Chrome right away. Oh, we don't have Chrome. We need to go to Safari. I'm gonna run the Safari test since it's here. Let's go. That was the fastest unboxing to test I've ever done on this channel. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing this. What's gonna happen? I don't know. 419. 419 out of the box. This is speedometer 2.0, by the way, not 2.1. I'm gonna run it again, just in case. 431.2. Faster that time. One more time, shall we? 418. Now, 2.1. I'm not gonna be doing this for every single machine every time. Multiple versions of speedometer. We have to decide on what we're gonna be using. How should we version this? What do you think, folks? Leave a comment down below. 410 for speedometer 2.1. That's... Strange. Let's test that again. 416. So compared to the M1 Max, the M2 Pro is fast on both speedometer 2.0 and speedometer 2.1. Let's download Chrome. And we're off. Speedometer 2.0 and Chrome. That's not too impressive. Gonna go again. 345. A little bit better, but still. All right, let's do 2.1. By the way, what is a speedometer thing? Uh, this is just JavaScript frameworks, JavaScript to-do applications that it's testing over and over again. That's fine, that's great, but there's other web technologies out there, and uh, I plan on doing another video for other web technologies that encompasses a more diverse set of benchmarks for browsers. All right. We've got 398, which is slightly more than the 2.0 version, but we're not hitting that 400 mark. I mean, it's pretty close, we'll, we'll give it to it, but the M2, not the M2 Pro, the M2 MacBook Air gets a higher score. 386, you know what's coming. I'm gonna grab this speedometer repository and git clone it. I don't have git installed, right? So please don't tell me it's about to download Xcode. All I need is git. <gasps> 77 hours, 52 minutes, what is this? All I need is to be able to download. I'm gonna do the installations later. I just wanna download this. I'm gonna grab the zip file. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Oh, I don't even have VS Code here. Oh, I'll be right back. Now the score to beat is 443. That's what I got on the M2 MacBook Air. Let's see what we get. 454. That's the highest I've ever seen speedometer go. So we've got Safari running on localhost and we've got the highest score. Though That's the magic combination to get the best scores. Wow, uh, is that helpful? Um, I guess to a certain extent, the numbers keep going up, but at the same time, it's very inconsistent. I'm gonna be doing some more tests and a few of you have recommended other tests to do. Keep an eye out for that video, subscribe to the channel and like this if you liked it. Thanks a lot, folks. See you next time.